So let's move on to some other Star Wars stuff. Do we have to? Ahsoka trailer. Yes. Again, watching this trailer, I actually thought to myself, this looks okay. A bit female centric. I think somebody made in the comments that a few people are going to not like it because it's a bit. And I did keep thinking, there is a lot of women in this, uh, which is fine, uh, depending on how it's done. But I, I'm under the impression that both Dave Filoni and John Favreau have been putting most of their efforts into Ahsoka. So it might actually be quite decent. Well, I certainly haven't been putting it into Mandalorian Season 3, so... Uh, so, uh, did you watch Rebels? Not yet. It's still kind of on my list of things I'm slowly crawling through. Okay, you may want to... It's still to. too kiddish. It's still too kiddish for me. <laughs> so I'm this... finding it hard to get my teeth into this show is clearly a rebel sequel. Those two women okay. characters, the yeah. one with the hair. Oh yeah, and Hera. Then uh, yeah, Harris and Dula, they're, they're both. It, you know, they're both yeah. the main characters of Rebels. This is all about Thrawn was in Rebels. Yeah, and the ending left it kind of ambiguous. And then it did say at the end of Rebels, it was like they went through the war, and after Return of the Jedi, Ahsoka came back to Hera to go find Ezra Bridger. I'm assuming that that's what it's going to be about. But, man, I was just, I, I just went, oh, no, no. I was watching this, and it's like, they're clearly doing the Thrawn trilogy, Timothy this Zahn's what, trilogy. See, and this is what now really annoys me, because we're going to go on to that as well. But <sighs> I have read the Thrawn trilogy, and I loved it. And if I did they too. had made that... If they had made that into a sequel trilogy, they would have had an absolute smash hit on their hands. But they, they were. They went and that trailer was so blatant about it. It's like they, she, she actually looks into the camera. And it's like we need to find Thrawn. He's coming back because he's going to be heir to the Empire. I'm like, oh no! Oh, and, oh and, no! And, and no. With it, but the problem is, is somebody made a comment on um, on social media somewhere. They said that if he's now the heir to the Empire, what about the whole Snoke and then Palpatine returning thing? That kind of blows that out of the water. You know, that it's kind of like everybody's an heir to the Empire, because technically Ray is, because she's, you know, her granddad was one of them. No, 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 no. They don't care about that. This is thing you know. Heir to the Empire is thing you know and thing you love. So we're going to wear it like a skin suit. I'm sorry. I, I I like Dave Filoni. I think he's done a good job. He may do a good job with this this story. Him and Favreau may do a good job with this story. They have it all set up and everything, but if they're doing the Zahn trilogy... Which it looks like they are. I, I I feel like that old Jedi with the red. I I feel like that's Joris Kaboth Seboath. I don't know how they pronounce it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, and if they're doing clone, uh, it's like, oh no, you can't just you got to do it well, without you, Luke Leia and Han yeah. again. And and also the fact that somebody because we're going to go on to this in a minute about Ray and Ray and. Um, coming back but somebody said about how the whole somehow Palpatine returned and somebody said well they did that in the EU and I said yeah but in the EU they made it there was a, a valid explanation of what happened that his spirit it sort of died in the where the Death Star was and a Jedi went out and it inhabited his body and then took possession and it's kind of that explains what happens as opposed to just saying somehow you know and so when it's well written and stuff, and then like you say, if they're now going to try and do that Thrawn trilogy, but you don't have, <laughs> but you don't have like Janice and Jason, which were Han and Luke's twin kids, and then also it, Ben, Jaina, Jaina, sorry, and but then and uh, Anakin. Ben, yeah, sorry, they named sorry, him, yes, the third Anakin, one was Anakin. Anakin. Yeah, they didn't yeah. name him Ben but, uh, because they because were like, the, why would the they Emperor, name him Ben? Yeah, that's true. That creepy old dude who used to drag around with Luke all the time. Yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, with Anakin, um, he gets possessed by the by the Emperor in in the Throne Trilogy, and it works really well. But now you haven't got any of these characters because they've decided well, to just 
Don't, Not the Thrawn the, trilogy. The I think that happened later in some EU. But the actual Thrawn trilogy is is very well put together, uh, very well done. I can well, that did happen sequels. in the Thrawn trilogy. No, no, not maybe in the sequel to the Thrawn trilogy, but no, Jaina and Jason were born in the Thrawn trilogy, and Anakin wasn't born yet. Oh, okay, sorry, it's been a while since I read them. So. Yeah, but you have all but those that, that whole thing with those uh, those uh, those creatures that uh, the force that were block. that were serving. Yeah, that that yeah. Rook was his personal bodyguard. They turns out they were lying to him the whole time and all that. Figured out how to, you know, Leia had this whole thing going on. She had the thing with uh, the the Bothans, you know, the Bothan ambassadors. Yeah. It just, there was a lot of good stuff and it was very, very well put together. It was, a, it was, it expanded. It made the, the, the stories more complex, but it still was a good trilogy that all worked. I, I, Mara Jade was a great addition. Um, yes, yes. Uh, Talon Card was a great addition, and there was a lot of good stuff in there. And it just, it, but it, ultimately, uh, I was gonna say sorry to interrupt, but thank you for watching this excerpt from Outpost Frequencies. Tune in live every Sunday at noon Central Time or six o'clock UK time. And also, remember to come to lastmovieoutpost.com for all your latest in movie news, streaming news, and everything cool about film. We are the cool news now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next stream.